Vincent Corsello from Corsello Butcheria. Um, today I'm going to make chicken cutlets and the first step in chicken cutlets is to uh, fillet them. I've started this process. Um, you can request this over at the shop if you don't want to or know how to do it yourself. But, uh, you know, since I know how to do it, I'll just do it myself. And so I take a breast. Uh, you don't have to use breasts, but that's traditionally what you use for chicken cutlets. And uh, so we're, we're just going to butterfly these, fillet them, whatever means necessary. Just need to get the job done. Okay, so I, I, I kind of filleted these. You can uh, not cut them and just pound them like I am now, or you can do it. So you can use cellophane or parchment paper, and you just give them a little tap. Okay, we're back. We've uh, we've filleted all of our chicken. Like I said, you can uh, you can get it like that already done, so that doesn't take anything. So, um, I, what I love about chicken cutlets is that I get to use it. things that normally would either be thrown away or fed to the chickens. And one of my favorites is breadcrumbs. So we, uh, we save all our little ends and pieces or things that got stale on accident, right? And uh, I save them in the bread box. And then when I'm ready to make something like chicken cutlets, I do it. You know, even like we got this whole grain here. Uh, it doesn't matter. So you take a little bit of it. And you put it all together and you wrap it up and you smash it. And you put it in a little strainer. If you don't have a strainer, you don't need one because you can, and then you get all the, the good breadcrumbs out. And then you could do more, or you could do, you could spend your time doing more at the time. Okay, so I've got them all um, made, and then I, I like to add some Parmesan cheese. If you're doing something, um, Parmigiano Reggiano, not Parmigiano, but in any case, put a little bit of that, season it, right? Um, and it's important to season things ahead of time because then you don't have to put a bunch of salt and pepper on it later, right? So I go ahead and season it, the breadcrumbs already. I do the same with the eggs. I don't use a lot of pepper, but I do use some salt. And you can even do it on the flour side, okay? All right, and you just kind of mix it in there. Um, egg goes a little further, you may or may not know, with a little bit of milk, but not necessary. Okay, and you stir this up. And you stir up your, your, your breadcrumbs. You can do it with your hands if you want to. No big deal. Okay. And I already did the flour. Now, I learned this in New Jersey. This is not to say that that's what they do in Jersey, but um, it's a little, little trick. So um, I, I dip it in vinegar. This is just distilled vinegar. You could use red wine or cider vinegar if you want. And then I put it in the, in the flour, and then I put it in the egg, right? And I just do that as a, I don't always think to do the vinegar side. It's not fundamental. If you want to try it, try it out. It gives it a little, just gives it a little more flavor. Okay. Then I put the, in the egg and then I put it, we were going to get a tray here, but we didn't, but in any case, okay. So, all right, ready? Okay, so we used, uh, I used pumice olive oil. 
Um, don't use extra virgin, it'll put too much flavor in it. Um, any kind of oil is fine to use. You can even use like chicken schmaltz or something like this, um, which we have by the way. Okay, and you can tell if it's ready because I, I splashed a little water in there, tiny, tiny bit, and it, you can see it's popping, so, so we know it's hot enough. And then you just put, put them in there. and you move it around so that you can get you can put quite a bit in there and they actually as they cook they get a little smaller and you can get more in there yeah okay so we have this on one side for two minutes and then I flip it over usually now notice that the depending on the type of oven you have the middle of the oven, the middle is hotter than the outside, so I turned it around so that the other side is getting cooked as well. Okay? You can see how this is getting the inside cooked a little faster. And you just adjust by turning it over this way. Okay? See, in this case, two minutes might have almost been too much, but it'll be fine. You can always flip them over and back and forth a couple times. Okay, so this is this is it. It's done. Fantastic. You can serve it with whatever you want.